What's up guys, Gamebreaker here, bringing you episode number 5 of Factions here on Cosmic PvP on the Monster Planet. Finishing up our Cactus Farm here, it has been rocking and rolling. Um, so, we kind of left off, I was down in that pit in the last episode, trying to figure out how to get this set up, so I dug down a little bit more, and we will, we are ready, that is, to place our chest and hoppers down here, if I could just get into the right position. Hopper's gonna go right here, which means the chest is gonna have to go just below it, so one there and one right here. Oops, I gotta shift put that one, it's so difficult in the water. There we go, that should do it. And we go ahead and put this, oops, so difficult the water struggle. Right there, and that should link it up. So if I toss something in there, say, I don't know, another chest just for banjo. Pop. Did it, did it eat it? Or did it go past? Hopper, what have you done? Are you even hopping? I swear, if a chest falls around this corner... Is the chest there? Where did it go in? It must have gone in. I believe in a world where that chest went into that hopper. It's not in my inventory, so it's got to be down there. Let's go check it out. Shekarino. And I did make a little path just so we can get back up there. Actually, I might take this with me, so it doesn't really serve any purpose here. And go ahead and pop it down in the little path I made, so let's go ahead and check that out. Come on. There we go. And let's see where that came down. Right here. It all connected up ever so nicely for us, so that's cool. So we got here. And actually, this is kind of difficult to, tra to traverse. I might put the ladders on the other side in a bit, but anyway. Yes, it did make it into the chest, so even if we were AFKing down here somewhere, this would still work. If we were AFKing in the pool uh, up there, they would still eventually all flow down and make it into the chest, which is perfect and good enough for me. So we can let that kind of go and do its thing as we're doing our thing here. So let's go ahead and actually fix up these ladders right here, because that's kind of bugging me right now. I hate chopping ladders in this, it's so difficult. <laughs> I don't know why it's so glitchy like this, but just the way it works on the server, so... Hashtag blame someone else. Come on, ladders, go! It's like they're being broken too quickly, they don't actually break, so you gotta break it with something else. That'll do. Hello, Irish Maniac 2, I have no idea who you are, but presumably you do watch the series, so welcome to YouTube. And let's go ahead and pop these guys in. Bada bing, bada boom. And that should just about do it. And could we actually break this and just do the little door system thing again? Throw that down there. Or he could just be nearby. I have no idea. He might just be hanging out up there somewhere. And let's pop this there. And see how we're doing. Yo, the system of ladders is awesome right now. He could just be ready to kill me up here. I have no idea. Let's go ahead and check out our surroundings. Close off this door for security purposes. And hello? Anybody? 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 Bueller? Nobody? Yo, everyone, what's what's up with this? Everyone's so popular. So popular. I'm not letting anyone TP to me. I don't have access to slash near. I want to slash near so badly, but it's not going to do anything. So let's see. We didn't do an Envoy last episode, so we want to try to get this done this episode. I know there was one, like, right before I actually started recording, so I don't know if there's going to be one during this episode, but we will find out. But in the meanwhile, we will want to kind of expand this up. And we probably should make some sort of like ladder system to kind of get up to these higher levels just for ease of access for us here. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's keep building this thing. We gotta go bigger and bigger. Goodbye, cactus. Part of the reason why I wanted to build it on ice is so they will kind of flow in there a little quicker and we'll potentially lose less to the clear lag anyway. Where did that one go? Oh, my nose is so itchy. <laughs> Help. <laughs> All right, we're good. Eyes watering, mom spaghetti. All right, what were we doing here? Yes, we were making some sort of access. Yeah, so those are going to fall off the side, but NBD, honestly, can't be asked. Um, so we need another like ladder system here. Maybe we can make it out of sand just because we have a lot. Now we'll just make it, out of, make it out of normal blocks here, and we'll build it up. So let's go ahead and just grab a bunch more ladders here. I think I took them all out of here, but we can check anyway. Do I have any more? At least I have some blocks here, so let's use these. And let's grab some of this. We're not going to need too many, but anyway, let's go ahead and build it up. Get ourselves some ladders going here and make some staircase. Hashtag stairway to heaven. Stairway to cactus. All right, got all of that. So which side do we want to do it on? I think our F home pops us out like on this side. So maybe I'll just put it kind of like right up in this corner here. Yeah, let's just do that. Build this up nice and high. Jump down into the water. And that'll be high enough for now. Still don't see anyone. <laughs> just, 
<laughs> Irish maniac and make me nervous. You might be around here somewhere. I assume you've just watched uh, the series a bit and know that I'm building a cactus farm. That's the, the reality I'm going to go with right now. And let's get these ladders set up. Boom, 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 boom. And climb to the summit of Mount Cactus. It actually looks cool. I just love the symmetry of all this. It, it works for me. All right, so where's the next level going to go? It's going to go right on top of here. So let's get out our sand and our cactus one more time. And let's start stacking them up. Hoo-cha! Yo, no fall damage. Cactus parkour champion! It'd be cool if I could quad jump all these and like place them as I was going, but that's uh, I think that's asking a lot of my parkour abilities. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. I'll stick with doing this because it works. So if you guys are enjoying the series, please let me know down in the comments what you guys like and what you don't like. Of course, I'm going to try to tear the episode a little more to that if we can, but it'll be much better once we kind of get this cactus farm up and running. And hopefully this will give you guys some tips or ideas about how you can make money quickly on the server with nothing. I know a lot of you guys have been saying in the comments like, oh, <laughs> ally my faction or let me join your faction. I can give you some stuff. I'm trying to do this straight out. That's kind of the point of the entire series. Otherwise, I'd be having a lot more fun with you guys doing stuff like that. So... We will go ahead and just carry on as normal, doing this as a normal pleb person who just joins the server for the first time. And some of these tips should at least help you guys out so you can make some money on your own or if you've got friends and you're looking to start out and just want to come hang out and play. Uh, some tips on how you can not be a broke bum and actually get some enjoyment out of the server. I'm enjoying it so far. I'm definitely having fun. Uh, it's fun to do stuff like this where I'm not just flying around totally OP right off the bat with my lovely birthday present of top rank. So let's go ahead and just finish dropping these cactuses down and start getting ready on the next layer. And that's pretty much what these episodes are going to be, at least uh, for this one and maybe part of the next one as well. Uh, or, oh no, or I'll just do a bunch of it off camera and um, just come back with this giant farm there or maybe I'll kind of do a little time lapse there to make a slightly quicker episode. But we're sticking to the 20 minute rule uh, right now anyway and seeing how long it actually takes uh, playing on the server to make the million. Oh, this is, oh, is going to be dreadful. Oh, get ready for some parkour panic right here. This is going to be bad. Actually, let's just let's just build it up right now. Um, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? I think we're just going to stack it exactly the same as it was there. So we're just going to build one off to the uh, the side. Okay, that was good. We did well there. We did better than I thought we were going to do. So let's just build our way over and get back into position here. And then we'll go back and kind of fix all this in the end. Yeah, so he totally does watch the series. Thank you, Irish Maniac. I appreciate the help, but we're doing this all on our own, as I just explained in my long-winded monologue there. Of course, you couldn't hear that. All right, parkour, let's do this. Got it. Perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and start breaking this down and getting this next layer going. This is going quite well so far. Where'd me lucky pickaxe go? Well, let's get that. Uh, where did that? I put that in. Put it here. There we go. Perfect. Um, and mine all these guys up. Are we doing this right? I think that's what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah, we're good. We're on the right track this time. So let's keep going and get this all set up. And yeah, I think we'll just do this one more layer here. Uh, and then we'll call this episode good, and we might start uh, doing a little bit of base hunting this episode. I think that's what I feel. And maybe perhaps the episode after this, we'll actually get a raid going. So I'll just finish this off, and we'll have our th kind of three. Is that three, or is that two? That's two. I kind of want to get another one going here. We'll see how, how long it takes to actually build this, and then we'll decide what we're going to do the rest of the episode. So let's just go ahead and get this all slammed out. It is going to go one more there. Let's go ahead and just kind of bounce around and get these set up. So if you guys have got tips, of course, about uh, how to make good money on Cosmic, let me know in the comments, and I'll be sure to uh, share them with everyone else if I think they are shareworthy in the series, that is. Um, like I said, we've just got the non-no rank right here, so I think this is a very efficient way, especially starting out, because you can kind of do this uh, at your leisure, at least make the cactus farm, and you can expand it as you get more cactus, which is really nice. It kind of it, uh, it will make money for you while you're just working on it, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and carry on building with this row next. And yeah, at least I guess some story time. Back when I first started playing on Ice Planet with Res Sickness, uh, I had this base that I thought was like really well made underground and no one would find it and we were having so much fun because it was like right at the edge of the world border but like buried down underground somewhere. 
and we thought that just no one was going to find it and it was pretty much unratable because we had <laughs> I don't even know it was made out of obsidians so that's why we thought it was unratable back when I pretty much knew absolutely nothing about factions and we were just playing to have fun that would have been really good to record just because I had no idea what I was doing but we were having a ton of fun but I remember eventually uh, some guys were able to break into it and, and while we were playing we basically had no idea what to do because we don't PvP that much at all. We had we had no gear. This was back in the day when you could actually enchant gear and you could get uh, the custom enchants on it. Like you go to the enchanting table and get custom enchants. And there were only of course like seven or eight custom enchants at the time so if you got one it was so hype because that made you so good in PvP. It was just like back in the days when you had like enlightened or just it's, I think it's called Enlighted, uh, Enlighted, uh, an anvil armor and things like that where it was just like broken OP and the server was like barely functional and you could actually like trap people in blocks of water with all these cool enchants. But yeah, you could just go out and like bang out a level 30 enchant and then just go out and PvP with it. That's just like how it worked back then for those of you who, you know, weren't around uh, uh, all that way back. I basically started playing, um, of course, along with everyone else who was enjoying Preston and Wuffle's first factions series. And we were like, oh, that looks like a lot of fun. So my brother and I got on and, and we started playing along with everyone else. That's kind of what built the server up anyway. So, like I said, so we had that base just underground. We were chilling. We thought we were so secretive. And we were going around and kind of like finding other people who had built on the world border these just kind of secret bases underground. This is back when there were like no super intense cans. Well, of course there were, but no one was building super intense bases. Uh, and now you have to build these ridiculous regen bases and like these diagonal regens just in order to keep like your cow farm safe. So it's it's basically gotten to the point where it's not even worth building a base because you, it's going to take weeks and months to build your base and it takes so long to build a cannon and actually function. It's just, it becomes not fun to build a base of that magnitude that you can actually consider it safe. Which is why I wanted to do a series like this where I could actually, you know, play around uh, with cool stuff and do different things with you guys and, and make it slightly interactive here and still have some fun. But yeah, one of the cool things we had on that uh, original Map 1 ice base is I thought it was going to be so cool to get a, uh, what was it? Oh, it was a wolf spawner. That's what it was. Because so, you could have wolves in combat, essentially, if you got your, uh, I think it was one of your MCMMO taming levels high enough. I thought they just came from the wolf spawners, of course. We were like, oh, let's buy this wolf spawner. We bought it. We spent so much money on it. And we couldn't even figure out why the wolves weren't spawning, but it was because there was no grass. And of course, you're asking these things in chat, and no one either knows or wants to tell you at that time. So we ended up just selling the wolf spawner again to someone else for profit. And I felt so bad about it just because I didn't tell the guy that you couldn't actually tame them or you needed the grass to spawn. I just had no idea why it wasn't working. I was like, forget it. We're selling it. Maybe it'll be someone else's problem. So we had sold on the wolf spawn into someone else, and we thought we were really cool. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that ice base eventually did fall, of course, because it was not really a base at all. But we had, like, this one little room. We had a spider spawner in it, and we thought we were so cool because we had, like, one spawner, and it was really awesome. But yeah, back in the day, that was so much fun, back in, like, the OG Cosmic days. But this is the Cosmic we know now, and this is the Cosmic we love, so this is what we're playing on. So let's finish up this level here. What are we at? 13 minutes. I want to just put one more level just so it'll break uh, all these cactuses just so we can actually you know add them to the farm here and then after that we will go out and look for a base so let's go ahead and stack that there a little bit of cactus parkour there we go and where are we breaking this we're breaking it right oh no i jumped off my mistake <laughs> rip i hope that ladder still works jump back around and let's climb this bad larry so yeah, one more level, uh, just so we can break these cactuses. Oh no, this again. Great. All right, one more time. So where's it going to be? The level is going to be right here. So if we can just jump up to there, we'll be all set. Shouldn't be that difficult. There we go. Uh, and that's where it's going to be, right along this line. So let's go ahead and pop this up top. I think we can finish this off and still have some time to at least go investigate our neighbors who are close by and see what factions there are. Uh, nearby to see if they have anything good. Again, I don't have world download yet. I'll probably download it in between this episode and the next one so we can actually function uh, in some sort of rating capacity. So let's go ahead and just break all these down and then we'll hopefully get to do some more fun raids coming up shortly, of course. We've got like five, like six minutes left. Should have plenty of time. Well, didn't know I was that close to the edge to finish this off. So yeah, let me know down in the comments too uh, how long you guys have been playing on the Cosmic server and share some stories with me. Uh, I'm always on the forums as well. I don't really post anything on the forums, of course. I just kind of look at it, especially if I'm just like hanging out at night, just 
chilling, looking for some entertainment. It's always entertaining to read the forums just because everyone posts these most ridiculous and stupid things and it's so salty and so entertaining for me. So I just read it just for fun. Uh, so I'm always on there. If you guys are posting things, I will see it. Uh, we have run out of normal blocks. So we're going to go classy and go with the stone blocks here. Actually, all the blocks should be down in the hopper theoretically anyway. So, Ooh, hello. Boop. Uh, so we should be able to recoup some of those. We'll have to go check that as well. So yeah, like I said, share me some of those stories down in the comments uh, of how long you guys have been playing on Cosmic, what planets you've played on, uh, what adventures you have, the hijinks that you guys have gotten into. Uh, it's always fun to hear all those stories because everyone always has a unique perspective and something to share. So I really like that aspect of it. So do share that stuff with me. And I am happy to share those stories with other people, of course, as well. So we got a couple more layers on this thing to go. And we are doing still okay on time. And I do want to check the auction house again just to see if there's anything interesting. Because like I said, we've got, what do we do? What do we have for money? We've got about 50K. So if we see anything interesting in terms of maybe some gear or some stuff that we're gonna need for raiding, I'll start picking that up. Maybe a couple uh, lucky TNTs would be in order as well. That would go a long way in terms of raiding. Because usually you can at least turn one piece of lucky TNT into probably three or so spawners, even if it's just you know zombie skeleton spawners. It's still enough to pay for the lucky TNT since it's about you know 10 to 20k or so for the TNT, and the spawners are about. Actually, I don't even know how much spawners are on the server. I'm, I'm guessing it's about 20k or so, just because it's kind of early in the season still, so spawners will still have some value, or at least the easy ones, because everyone's kind of setting up their base. I know it's been out for probably a month and a half or so now, but. It's about what I'd guess. I, mean, I haven't really been paying attention to, to auction house prices, as you can tell. So let's go ahead and dig this out. And this will be just about the last row here. And why are these rows off? I must have done something wrong. What did I do? Oh, have I screwed this up royally? I have, haven't I? <laughs> what have we done? What have we done? I started out wrong on that side. That's that's the problem there. This side's good, uh, but the other side is bad. Oh my. Well, we're going to have to correct that eventually. So let's go ahead and fix this up. It's not horrible, you know. It's almost doable. Is it workable? I don't know if all it's going to get stuck. It would win if they get stuck on top of each other if we, if we did it any other way. We need to do it this way. Oh my. Well, let's go ahead and just fix this one row just so I can kind of... I can see what I'm supposed to be doing here. So this is uh, gonna go here. This needs to be, where does it need to be? Tank. This needs to be right here, that's where it needs to be. Uh, that's where I went wrong. So it needs to go like this and like this. Yes, that's where it needs to go. So I'm just gonna fix this row and I'm probably just gonna mine up the rest of them here. So I get this row sorted. Grab this, come on, grab the block. Done. Surely, yes, I have a couple. Let's just fix this up. It's gonna go right there. Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? Yes, that is right. So this needs to disappear, this needs to go back here. There, so that's back on track. So I'll go ahead and dig up kind of the rest of these. And I'll fix this up at a later point. Right now, I'm going to go out and explore and see what we can find. At least the cactuses are breaking. It's not going to fall as efficiently as it should right now, uh, just because they're not lined up right. So let's actually just go see what we got here first. We've got some cactuses right on the lip. We had 28. We just went up to 59. So that's 31 cactuses right off the bat. And let's see what else actually made it into the hopper, if anything at all. We'll go check our little collection bin down here. But a bing. Whew. And we might as well... Actually, we should save the cactuses for now, just so we can um, expand the farm. That's of course the idea expansion, and I'll have to switch that door a little bit as well. Let's move that off to the side one. Pop this over here. It's going to be like the back door, of course. That'll do. And do we have anything in the chest? We do. Wow, look at that stack and change of hoppers. Or not of hoppers. I wish I had a stack and change of hoppers. Stack and change of cactus already. I'm actually just going to throw these ones in there for now. Take my blocks back. Thank you very much. Uh, just because this is at least slightly harder to get to if someone wanted to, you know, raid this at this point. But hey, that's where we're going to leave it for now. What do we got? got? Like a minute. So let's just go ahead and run out and see what we can find slash F home. 
and at least pay a visit to our neighbors and see what's going on, see if we can find anything real quick. But next episode, like I said, hopefully we can grab some supplies. We'll do a little bit more off-camera work uh, fixing up the farm. Let's just go off in this direction and see what we can find uh, into the wilderness, slash F map on. Again, don't really care. What do we got? Bat and Co. off to the west. That would be this way, I believe. Anything interesting? Or do they just have this little tiny settlement here? We've got a little bit anyway. Let's at least go check it out. Do 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 going across the plains. We have like probably like 30 seconds left. Oh, we're just about at the 20 minute mark now. I don't think these guys actually have a base over here. It just looks like some claimed land. Uh, of course, if you guys do have uh, raids, you can also let me know down in the comments, and I'm happy to go check them out and see if it's uh, worth going to do for an episode. So if you do play on the Monster Planet, and you've got some raid that you might want me to do, I'm definitely willing to split some of the profits with you guys, of course, if we end up getting some stuff out of it. Yeah, I don't think these guys have a base down here, so I think we'll just about end it there. Uh, let me know in the comments, like I said, your stories, if you guys got raids, other stuff like that. Uh, leave me a like if you haven't already, and subscribe because it's free and I greatly appreciate it. So I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See ya.